Hi everybody, it's Lisa from America's Test Kitchen Gearheads, and I'm here to answer some of your questions that you posted on YouTube under our Instant Pot versus Slow Cooker video. Um, these were great questions. I'm pretty psyched. First one was um, someone out. Someone mentioned, actually not a question, but said one of the best little secrets about the Instant Pot is that when you remove the lid, the little tabs on it fit into the handles of the base as a holder. I didn't know that, so I went and tried it. So I've got it here. This is awesome. Look at this thing. These little tabs on both sides of the front, and there's little slots on the back, and you just take the lid, boom. So awesome. So this is one of those little design details that I find really delightful when you, when you come across them. It's a nice little plus. It's great if you're gonna serve out of it, or if you just wanna put the lid somewhere so that it's not dripping on the counter. There it is. Awesome. Thank you, Jonathan Douglas. Okay. Um, we had a question. Would like to see the same review using beans. Do they still need to be pre-soaked, etc.? No, that is one of the awesome things about using a multi-cooker, electric pressure cooker, instant pot. You can put the dried beans right in dry and add water and cook them and they cook very quickly and it eliminates all that planning ahead you normally have to do where you have to soak them overnight, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of one of the coolest things about this. You can also cook pasta in it and rice. Next question, how would I convert slow cooker recipe to Instant Pot timing? Um, there is no real set formula. You have to go kind of on a recipe by recipe basis. Um, if you do that, you know, cut the time way back and check it early and often because the pressure cooker is gonna go so much faster. Um, I will say that one reason we chose that recipe for the soft tacos in our book, Multi Cooker Perfection, is that that book gives you every recipe how to cook it fast or cook it slow so you can cook it fast in the pressure cooker and the recipe shows you that but also shows you exactly how you change the recipe to cook it slowly in the slow cooker or on the slow cooker setting of your instant pot so um, that's why we chose that recipe we had all the instructions right there we knew it was going to work in both vessels and um, it did next question it would have been good to include how much power each device uses to make the example meal you both created. The multi-cooker looks like something an off-gridder would use if the power usage to run time was better than the slow cooker. Um, I looked into this a little bit. Now power consumed is watts times time. Um, so this is a 1200 watt uh, pressure cooker versus a 350 watt slow cooker, but the pressure cooker made the recipe in 25 minutes, whereas the slow cooker took between four and five hours. Now the thing is, it's the power isn't always on, so it's not an exact equivalent. But on you know on paper it looks like the multi cooker is a lot lower usage um, because it's so short, even though the wattage is higher, the cook time is short, but. With pressure cookers, if you've ever used a stovetop one, you know that you, you bring it to pressure and then you turn it down as low as possible. It's almost like when you're cooking rice on a stovetop, you boil it and then turn it way down. So it's just really needs a tiny bit of power to keep that high pressure once it's established. It's a very sealed vessel. Um, the slow cooker, you know, a lot of what the uninsulated ones just blow heat into the world all the time and they're on most of the time. The one that we have, you know, it brings it up to temperature within two hours um, and then just keeps it there. And we saw when we ripped it apart that there's a temperature sensor that just keeps the turning on and off and keeping it on a level below boiling. Um, and so that one really between that and the insulation doesn't use very much power. It's not on full blast all the time. Um, on a stovetop, your Dutch oven is gonna lose a lot of heat to the atmosphere because the burner is on and it's blowing stuff into your kitchen and the radiant the pot is radiating. Same with your oven. It uses a lot of power to stay hot. These are going to be more efficient in general than using it on the stovetop doing the same recipe or in the oven. I hope that's helpful. And finally, um, it would have been welcome if you'd shown how hard or easy these devices are to clean. Um, yes. Well, let's see. The, the pot itself, the, the Instant Pot, you just wipe down the exterior. The interior is a basic stainless steel pot, so it's the same as cooking, uh, cool, cleaning a pan. You can let it soak, you can scrub it, and uh, you can use Barkeeper's Friend if you want to shine it up. The lid has a little bit of stuff, gadgetry in here you have to clean. This is the gasket, it's made of silicone, and this is what seals the pot, and this does need to be removed and cleaned. And then when you put it back, just make sure you've pushed it all the way down, all the way around, or you'll get those weird error messages sometimes that it's not getting pressure. Um, 
but as long as as soon as you're done you just pop it all right down in there sometimes it's helpful to put a little vegetable oil on it that just helps it seal a little bit better um, and you're rinsing out all the parts but it basically is not that hard to clean it's pretty easy um, so I hope that's helpful and thanks for joining us at ATK Gearheads we hope to see you next time